friends of God, Happy New Year. God bless you and welcome to this broadcast. Friends, this broadcast may be one of the most important lives I've ever done. I want you to share this on your wall, tag somebody, because this prophetic broadcast of 2023, Prophecy Now, I am going to release prophetic insights, intel of what you can expect concerning this coming year. Now, I did not, uh, I did not expect to release 23 words. But as I was in prayer, the Lord gave me 23 words, uh, different visions, revelation, where I began to see different things in the realm of the spirit. Or I received inspiration and a divine knowing in my spirit, man. But today, as it's the third day of 2023, I believe we can break records. Amen. I believe. This video can and will go viral. So I want you to help me and help us break records and numbers today. Please share this on your wall. Give us a like, a heart, and watch what the Lord does. Amen. Help us to break some numbers and break the algorithm today. Because like I said, I believe this may be the most or one of the most important broadcasts I've ever done. And yes, this is live right now, real time, with one of your favorite prophetic voices, your host, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Happy New Year. Amen. And as we start off this new year fresh in the glory, I want you to hear the word of the Lord that God has spoken and given me to release to you his church, the body. Amen. So we're going to begin in a few minutes. But as you jump on, I want you to pray in the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's cover this broadcast with the blood of Jesus, with the intercession of the saints, with the host of heaven. Amen. That there will be no interruption, no interception. That no work of the enemy will even come near this. And that every single word that is spoken will truly be from the mouth of God. Amen. So I want you to pray in the spirit, in your prayer language, as you are commenting, liking, sharing, and jumping on. Hallelujah. Because this is a prophetic atmosphere. And together, by faith, in the spirit, through this virtual digital room, you and I were connected in the Lord. Amen. If you receive, say amen. Now, friends, in a few minutes, I'm going to begin to share. There is a good amount of things to share, but I do want to give some shout outs and meet and greet some of our wonderful viewers. Comment where you are watching from, because I love to see the cities regions and nations that are represented in this glory atmosphere. Amen. Shara Baba So. I do believe I saw Australia. Damien, God bless you. Australia in the house. Very good to see the Aussies here. Kerry from New Mexico. Tony from Alaska. Amen. I believe you are a new face to me. Cape Town's all Africa. Suzanne from Sweden, God bless you. Francis from South Africa. Sharababarokata, Indio, California. Alhambra, California, just down the street from me. Thank you, Lord. Seattle, Washington. Navarra, Florida. Oh, Scottsdale, hello, Gracie. Trinidad, Tobago, Illinois, Houston. Canyon Lake, California, Florida, Georgia, Botswana, Lompoc, California, beautiful area there, Emory, Texas, downtown LA, the Netherlands, glory, 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 people of God, in a few minutes, 
I'm going to begin to release the word of the Lord for this year, 2023. I believe this will be the best year of your life. Amen. But there's also going to be catastrophic things, unfortunate things that will take place. And my job as a man of God and as a prophetic voice is to release the word of the Lord, is to release what God is saying and speaking over this year. Amen. Grenada, New York City. Sharababarakata. Ohio, Laurel, Maryland, Cape Town. Pennsylvania, Nigeria, Secunda, South Africa, Gabron, Botswana, Limpopo, South Africa. Glory, glory, glory. Let your friends know the man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And today I'm going to release prophecy now for 2023. 23 prophetic words for this new year. Amen. And let me tell you, friends, last year, 2022, the Lord unctioned me. The Lord led me to prophesy 22 prophetic points for 2022. Who here remembers that? And I released it on a Zoom webinar. Um, and, of course, we put it on YouTube. But many of those words have come to pass, almost all of them. And in those 22 prophetic points for 2022 that I prophesied last year, concerning some of those words were like, there will be a comeback with Trump, eruptions, uh, assassination attempts, et cetera, et cetera. But today, we're not doing a Zoom webinar. I'm releasing this on this broadcast. And yet, it will be put on our different platforms. But today I'm releasing this live for you. Amen. Now this is a prophetic broadcast. And this word today is going to bear witness with many of you. And I believe it's going to cause you to be prepared in prayer and in the spirit for this coming year, 2023. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Continue to comment below where you are watching from. Help us to break the numbers and the algorithms because I do believe this is one of the most important broadcasts I have ever done. Amen. Now, I come before you as a fellow servant of God. I come before you as a fellow brother in the Lord. And I want to beseech you or, or come before you and present to you that we must discern and test every prophetic word. The Bible says, do not despise prophecy, but test the prophetic word and hold fast to what is good. 1 Thessalonians 5, 20 to 21. Don't despise prophecy. But test everything and hold fast to what is good. So in these days, we understand that there's going to be more and more prophecy. The Bible says your sons and daughters will prophesy in those times, these end times. I will pour on my spirit on all flesh. So we understand in these days, there's going to be more prophecy, more prophetic Nabi unction, revelation and flow. However, with more will also come more counterfeits. With more and with an abundance or a plethora of the prophetic will also come fake. There are true prophets and there are also false prophets. There are real genuine men and women of God who walk in a true measure of the prophetic. But there are some that are fake. They copy, they plagiarize, they steal others' notes. They 
only mimic what the world prophesies and says. So today, I want to let you know that there are levels in the prophetic, realms in the prophetic, and there are real and genuine, and there are also false and counterfeits. There is a real new breed that the Lord is raising up to release the word of the Lord, to prophesy. And whenever there is a prophetic word from God, there is evidence, say evidence. There is a tangible witness of the spirit, which means many times whenever a true man, woman of God prophesies, there is a witness in your spirit, meaning conviction or the fear of the Lord. Sometimes there's a break of joy, of miracles, signs and wonders as evidence to prove or accompany of the prophetic grace. But today, I believe as I release these 23 words over 2023, many of you will understand and receive that these are the words of God. And I want to say, Straight from the beginning, test these words. The Bible says, faith without action is dead. So test the spirits. Test every word. Amen. Absolutely. Every man and woman can get it wrong. Absolutely. But if somebody misses a word, it doesn't mean that they are a false prophet. It does not even mean that they are proud or arrogant if they don't, quote unquote, apologize publicly. However, our job as men and women of God is to release what we believe God has entrusted and showed us by faith. And as that realm of honor and humility is opened up, then we are able to say the realm of the prophetic is so much vast and greater than what we see and what we know. But I want to let you know that you and I, we have a moral responsibility to test every word, test every spirit. So I want to let you know, friends, as the Lord has led me, I believe, to release these words, he's given me very clear words and visions for this year. And as I release these words, I want you to watch and pray throughout this year. Test the words, watch what happens, and you will see for yourself in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you, friends, God is raising up a new breed of prophetic voices. And these prophets, apostles, will shake the earth with the power of God once again. Divine, direct revelation, inspiration from heaven above through intimacy and relationship with God. So I believe even as you are tapping into this broadcast, I believe you are receiving an impartation of the prophetic. If you receive it, say amen. You are receiving an impartation of the spirit of prophecy. And I release that now in Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. Now, once again, I'm going to I'm going to share a few things here. I have three things I want to review today. Number one, I'm going to briefly as a foundation for today's broadcast. Briefly touch on what is prophecy. And then the second section, I want to share about the prophetic word the Lord gave me for 5783 and 2023. Then, last but not least, the third part for today's broadcast, I will talk about the 23 prophetic words for this year. 2023. Someone say hallelujah. <clears throat> I'm already feeling the glory of God. 
Shama Kara Brokata. So I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, thank you for this word today. And thank you for the realm of God, the host of heaven that is around us. Shut up, release the word of God. Let every man be a liar and let God be true. Every word that is from you will bear fruit. Anything that is not will fall flat to the ground. If you're ready to receive from the Lord through his servant, through his mouthpiece, I want you to say amen. And give some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. So I want to release 23 prophetic words for 2023. But first and foremost, what is prophecy? We understand that there was a tribe of Israel called Issachar, and they understood the times and seasons. You see that in First Chronicles 12.32. Of Issachar, men who had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. 200 chiefs and all their kinsmen under their command. Amen. Now, this is where we get understanding about the tribe of Issachar or the oil of Issachar because Issachar was a tribe of Israel that understood the times and seasons. I want you to say times and seasons. And not every prophet or not every prophetic voice moves in the oil of Issachar. When you move in the oil of Issachar, you are giving revelation and insight concerning times and seasons, dates, and date lines. Not every prophet or prophetic voice receives that type of revelation. So it's a specific grace that God gives you concerning time. But why is it important? Because the more you understand the time and the season you're in with God or what is to come, the more effective you will be with your strategy. I feel the Holy Ghost. When you understand the season you're in, you will understand how to shift with the right strategy. Every season has a different strategy. Every time has a different method. So we must understand, Lord, what is the strategy of heaven in this season? And when you receive it, you will surely have victory. Someone say amen. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. God does nothing in the earth unless he first reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Many people believe that prophets are no longer needed today, no longer around today. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Every single one of us, we are meant to operate in the prophetic. Because I believe, Dr. Ben Lim, I believe my interpretation, according to scripture, is that we all have the gifts of the spirit, all nine gifts. You have every gift of the Holy Ghost. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, it's all in you already, but it must be activated and matured. That's why Apostle Paul says, eagerly desire the spiritual gifts. So I believe every believer, born again, New Testament believer, we are meant to operate in the prophetic because we are living in prophetic times. I want you to comment, times of prophecy. We are living in prophetic fulfillment where the Bible is being fulfilled right before our eyes. End times prophecy is coming to pass. Woof. We are seeing prophetic words come to pass. So we are living in prophetic times. Amos 3, 7. God does nothing in the earth unless he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Now, let me tell you, there are many fallen angels. There are many people in necromancy, new age, worshiping the dead, contacting medium spirits. 
There are many in the dark side and the dark realm. They have the gift, but they're operating through the wrong spirit. That is why a lot of the secular world we see in media, movies, TV shows, we see Shora Baba, we see in technology, in government, in politics, we see many people in the dark world, in the dark realm, who do not profess Jesus and are anti Christ. We see many of them receiving predictions of the future, foretelling predictions of the future. That is what fortune tellers are. That is what medium spirits are, witches, warlocks. They are operating through a false mixed spirit, a spirit of mixture. However, God does nothing in the earth unless he reveals the secrets to his servants, the prophets. And it's revealed to intimacy. God gives revelation to his servants through intimacy. Someone would say amen. On the other side, they receive revelation through demonic entities and medium spirits. Through hurting themselves, doing child sacrifices, animal sacrifices, doing other demonic seances and practices. But we as the servants of God Most High, through love and intimacy, through the blood of Jesus Christ, he releases revelation unto us. So today, I'm going to release 23 words for 2023. Now, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Help us to break the algorithms today. Because God is still speaking. God is still moving. The Lord is not a mute God. He is not a dumb God. The Lord is always speaking and the Lord is always moving. Amen. So I want you to continue to share as we break records on the algorithm in Jesus name. Now, and I hope you like my little coffee cup mug. <laughs> now, in this moment, I want to share quickly the word that God has given me for 5783 2023. I've already been talking about this for about four months now, from August, September, October, November, December to today. I've already been talking about this. But I want to touch on this briefly, and then we're going to go into the 23 prophetic points for 2023. Three in Hebrew is gemel, and gemel means camel. Gemel in the Hebrew means camel. Gemel in the Hebrew alphabet, it also is shaped like a man that's running, like a man with a foot that's kicked out. So this year, this is a year of the camels, of a transference of wealth. It's also a year where you're going to kick the devil in the teeth. Gamel it is a Hebrew letter that's shaped like a man that's running with the foot pointing out. So who's ready to run forward in their destiny? This year, 5783 and 2023 is the year of the three. This is a year of dominion. Say dominion. Because the Bible says, wherever the soles of your feet touch, you will possess that land. 
So this is a year of dominion. The Lord also said that this year, it's a year of resurrection. Because on the third day, Jesus rose again. On the third day, Yeshua experienced resurrection power. So this year is a year of resurrection. I believe many of you, you are coming out of the grave. This year, 2023, from 2020 to now, many of us have been buried and we felt like we were dead. But the Spirit of God is releasing resurrection power in dead churches, dead corrupt governments. There's resurrection power coming. So number one, there is dominion because three in Hebrew for 2023, 5783, three in Hebrew is Gamal. And Gamal is shaped like a foot. The Hebrew alphabet letter is shaped like a foot. So you're going to walk into new places, walk into new realms, and you're going to walk and run forward into your calling and destiny in Jesus' name. So I want you to say dominion. Number two, it is a year of resurrection. Because on the third day, Jesus rose again. Yeshua rose again from the grave. So who's ready for resurrection power? Your finances are about to be resurrected. Your dead dreams are going to come out of the grave. Shout out. So this is a year of resurrection in Jesus' name. I believe we're going to see a resurrection in the government of America. We're going to see a resurrection in the nation of the United States. Someone say resurrection. This is a year of resurrection power. And the third word that the Lord gave me for this year, 2023, it is, it is divine direction because it stands for Psalm 23. He will lead you out of the wilderness, out of the valley of the shadow of death. So I believe this is a Psalm 23 year. 2023 is a Psalm 23 year where God is releasing divine direction. He's leading you out of the valley of the shadow of death. He's about to anoint your head with oil. He's going to cause a table to be set up in front of your enemies. Hallelujah. We also understand that there's a new oil and your cup overflows. So he's going to direct you out of the wilderness. He's leading you and directing you out of the valley of the shadow of death. If you believe it and receive it, I want you to say amen. I believe this is a Psalm 23 year. So get ready for strategy and direction. The instruction of God for you to come out like King David. Whew. For a staff and his rod, they comfort me. My goodness. So as they preach, Dr. Ben. The number three, gemel, comes from the root word gemul. And gemul means recompense. Gemul means payback. So this truly is a year of payback and the comeback. So I declare and I decree divine recompense, resurrection, the gemul, gemel anointing of camels, of payback and a recompense. This year, 2023, 5783, get ready for resurrection and for divine direction according to Psalm 23. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Choo. Now, I'm going to begin to release the 23 prophetic points, oh my goodness, to this year, 2023. Now, a number of these words God has given me weeks before, and I've been praying into them, and I've been holding on to them. But today is a day to begin to release publicly and corporately 
these words and visions that God has given me. Friends, like I said, I want you to test every word. Let man be a liar and God be true. However, the Lord releases secrets to those who fear him. He shares his secrets, his revelations to those that are his friends. And my job and my heart's desire today is to release the word of the Lord and to prepare his body, prepare his church people. Because yes, it will be a year of resurrection. Absolutely. It's going to be a year of recompense. Amen. And of divine direction and dominion. Absolutely. If you believe it, say amen and give me some hearts and likes. However, here are some specific detailed words globally for you to expect and for you to watch out for. Because the gospel is a double edged sword. The gospel is a two edged sword. It is both awesome yet detrimental. It is both great yet dreadful, both sweet yet bitter. It is glorious yet for the unbeliever, it is scary. So that is the word of God. It's a double edged sword. So I'm going to begin to release these words today. First time ever publicly, corporately, dated here, January 3rd, 2023. These are the 23 prophetic points that the Lord has given me for this year, 2023. Now, if you're ready to hear and receive, I want to say amen and give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Someone say hallelujah. Now, point number one. I believe Prophet Kim Clement prophesied this many years ago, but I kept hearing this in my spirit. The two E's, the two E's, two E's. What are the two E's? Earthquakes and eruptions. Earthquakes and eruptions. This year, there will be great earthquakes and eruptions. There will be great earthquakes and eruptions. Even the last few days in California, there's been earthquakes, minor earthquakes. But I believe this year, we need to watch and pray. Pray against destruction. Pray against calamity. That angels will be released and the Lord's people will be covered and protected in Jesus' name. Amen. So I heard the Lord say, two E's. This is a year of the two E's, earthquakes and eruptions in 2023. I believe I released a very similar word for 2022. And what happened? I believe it was. Fiji or Tonga, Tonga had that massive eruption of a volcano. Number two, I saw a global famine. Come on, people of God. I saw a global famine. And I saw the economy. And when I say I saw, it means I saw in the realm of the spirit. With my spiritual eyes. So I saw in the realm of the spirit. Around the month of April. The stock market. The market. Crashing even more. But I saw many corporations. Becoming bankrupt. I saw even nations. Countries. Going bankrupt. Many countries. Corporations, big companies going bankrupt. And I saw a famine, even a literal famine, where a number of countries 
had no food, no bread, no wheat. You see what's going on in Ukraine. One of the largest wheat bread producers in all of Europe and the world. But I saw a global famine and I saw countries without food, devastation. And I saw major corporations and nations going bankrupt. And I saw the month of April, that even by the month of April, we will see a greater depression and a greater tanking of the economy. Number three, the third prophetic word the Lord gave me and showed me is the pig's nation. What is the pig's nation? P-I-G-S. And I don't mean pigs as in swine, dirty, unclean. I mean Poland, Italy, uh, Poland, Italy, Spain. These nations, Korabababa, these nations, and Greece, hallelujah. These nations, the Lord said, look out for the pigs nations. Portugal, Poland, I, I, Italy, Greece, Spain. Look out for the pigs nations. The Lord showed me the pigs nations. Italy, Greece, Spain, Portugal, Poland, those countries, those regions. And the Lord said, pray. Because there's going to be more shaking in those countries. More shaking in the pigs nations. I saw immigration crises increasing. Even terrorist attacks, says God, in the pigs nations. Number four. The fourth thing I saw was a revolution of the Iron Curtain. We understand what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. It's so unfortunate, detrimental, and it's such a farce. So much corruption and lies, scandals, scams in the middle of it all. But I heard the Lord say a revolution in the Iron Curtain. Someone say amen. <laughs> a revolution in the Iron Curtain. So I saw Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, and the Eastern Europe. And I saw a revolution with the Iron Curtain. I saw a revolution. And I saw a falling of the Iron Curtain. So I believe this year in 2023, there's going to be some shaking, cracking, and breaking of the Iron Curtain this year, 2023. If you believe it, say amen. Now the Lord began to take me in the spirit over the nations. He began to highlight nations to me. And the Lord began to show me North and South Korea. Now, I know one of the words the Lord gave me for 2022 last year was about, I believe, North Korea. The fifth prophetic word God gave me is pray for North and South Korea, Jesus. For there is a revolution and a revival coming to North and South Korea. So keep your eyes, says God, on the upcoming elections for Korea. And keep your eyes on the peninsula of Korea in 2023. For this will be a major year 
for the reunification, the reuniting of North and South Korea. I'm not saying they will be reunited this year. That's not what I'm saying. But it, this will be a major year for the reunification of these two nations. This year, watch what God does with North and South Korea. Amen. I said, amen. And then the Lord showed me China. And the Lord said, keep your eyes on China. For there is a shattering. Say shatter. There is a shattering of the tail of the dragon in China. Someone say preach. There is a shattering of the tail of the dragon in China. I saw the nation of China and I saw the dragon Leviathan. And I saw the dragon Leviathan of China in China trying to come down to the rest of Asia. And the Lord said, I am shattering the tail of the dragon. Now, where is the tail? I believe the tail is in North Korea. Manchuria, North Korea, which is the tip of China. So the Lord said, there will be a shattering of the tail of the dragon in China this year in 2023. My goodness. Number seven, the seventh vision the Lord gave me, showed me, word God gave me, is Israel. And the Lord gave me two T's. Two T's. And the two T's is technology and the temple. Keep your eyes on Israel's two T's, technology and the temple. I believe this year in 2023, we need to keep our eyes on the two T's of Israel, the technologies and the temple of Israel. This year, 2023, be on the lookout for what's gonna happen with the two T's of Israel. In fact, I would say the three T's of Israel, technology, terrorist attacks, and the temple. For the Lord just quickened my spirit about the three T's of Israel, technology, terrorist attacks, and a temple. But the Lord will protect the apple of his eye. Jehovah will cover his people. The three T's. Number eight. Now this vision I received when I was driving through the volcano in Hawaii three weeks ago. And as I was driving, the Lord took me into the spirit and showed me a dark room. And this dark room was a dark laboratory. And there was a circle of scientists or people wearing masks and wearing the scrubs like they were scientists or doctors. And they were all surrounded in a circle in his dark room, in his dark laboratory. And I saw they were conspiring of another virus. They were discussing and conspiring of releasing another virus 
over the earth. Another type of plague over the planet. So I saw this group of people in a circle, in a dark room, a dark laboratory. And the Lord said, pray against any other form and type of mandates, of jabs, forced jabs, population control. Pray against any man-made biological weapon that they're trying to produce to destroy the human race. Hallelujah. For as the Lord showed me this group of people, they were conspiring to control and even to kill the world. So pray against lockdowns, shutdowns, mandates. Amen. Number nine, I saw Jesus, a great changing of the guards. A great changing of the guards. This year, we're going to see a great changing of the guards. Many worldwide leaders are going to pass. Some are going to disappear. What happened to Jeffrey Epstein? What happened to even Andrew Tate? Many leaders are going to suddenly disappear. They're going to die in accidents. There's going to be a death and a passing. But some are going to just vanish, disappear. And even now in the spirit, I'm hearing, watch out for Kanye West. Pray for Ye, for Kanye West. And even Elon Musk. For this year, there's a great changing of the guards. Changing of the guards. Many worldwide leaders will change overnight. Shut up, Ababa. And many will die. Go home. Pass. And many will just also suddenly disappear. So pray for Elon Musk and Kanye West. If you're with me today, say amen. Tag somebody. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. And by the way, for the prophetic word of January, I prophesied about the royals and the government and the kingdom. And even the royals in UK. And what happened? The 16th Pope just passed away on New Year's Eve, December 31st. Number 10, I saw more AI and VR technologies. This year, I believe there will be a greater global cryptocurrency in 2023. A greater global cryptocurrency this year. That is what the One World Order is trying to do. Destroy any type of currency and make it centralized and controlled from above. But this year, 2023, be on the lookout for AI and VR technologies, and even more of a global cryptocurrency. I'm not saying look at cryptocurrency, but I will say now, yeah, it's going to stay and it's going to go up, friends. It will, because these are technologies and platforms 
for the end times harvest. In this year, 2023, look for the increase of AI, VR, and even cryptocurrency that increase this year. Number 11. Excuse me, number 10. The 10th thing the Lord showed me. Thank you. Number 11. The 11th thing that the Lord showed me is a great transference of wealth and land and property i saw the lord signing papers on a desk and transferring powers or writing and signing the power of attorney in your name so this year there's going to be a great transference of wealth lands, properties, and even corporations. This year, 2023, be on the lookout for major companies to switch CEOs and leadership. There's gonna be great harvest of wealth, a great harvest and a transference of lands and properties this year. Number 12, I saw different nations getting shut and locked down. What's been going on in China is a international crime, a travesty. But that's what the dragon, Leviathan, communistic spirit will do. But I saw different countries, even in Europe, going into greater lockdowns and shutdowns this year in 2023. Even South Africa, I'm seeing in the realm of the spirits, South Africa, with the shutdowns and the lockdowns in the nation of South Africa, a country that I love and a country I am in covenant with. The Lord says, South Africa, even in midst of your lockdowns and shutdowns, there will be a revival in South Africa and there will be a remnant rising. New technologies and wineskins will be formed out of South Africa. New forms of communication and gathering. A greater authority is coming to the church and the nation of South Africa. So the Lord showed me lockdowns and shutdowns in certain countries. And what do I mean by shutdowns? I mean, I see literally like a gray cement lock over countries in the spirit. But we say, open up, open up, open up you ancient gates. You ancient doors for the king of glory rises upon you. Amen. Number 13, the Lord showed me massive floods. My goodness, massive floods. A lot of floods, my friends. And I know many of you, if you've been following me, you've been hearing me prophesy even last year about nations and regions being flooded going underwater god said he will never judge the earth by the flooding of water again but let me tell you the enemy principalities they are the ones judging with flooding of water so i saw nations and regions Becoming flooded. Even Japan, says God. Pray against tsunamis. In the Pacific Rim. Japan. Philippines. Indonesia. 
Harabosata. I'm going to say that again. Japan, Philippines, Indonesia. Pray against tsunamis and flooding. For even this year, 2023, pray for Florida, says God. For I see a massive, massive wave trying to hit Florida this year in 2023. Where are the intercessors? Where are the watchmen? Where are the weather warriors? Number 14. I saw electricity and power cities being shut down for days and weeks. Electricity, energy, power, cities being shut down for days and weeks. Number 14, blackouts. And why is this? It's for control. They're going to say it's for safety. But what they're doing behind the scenes is setting up 5G towers and networks. Setting up weapons of mass destruction and warfare. But I saw cities shut down. Energy power. That's why I am so, I love, I love solar power, trust me. But I am against electric cars. I personally am against electric cars. I don't like Priuses and I hate Teslas. Even though I like Teslas a cut company and a lot of us but there's something insidious behind the scenes and the lord says pray against corruption and human trafficking i see right now my goodness i see two things right now and this is number 15 in the realm of the spirit I see number 15, more children and women will be set free from human trafficking. So there's going to, wow, this is all a battle for our children. All of these things is the exterior to hide the trafficking, the stealing of children. My goodness. Do you know how many kids were abducted and kidnapped when Florida, Fort Myers, experienced that cyclone a few months ago? Jesus. So the Lord said, number 15, come on, pray with me. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Pray with me in the Holy Ghost. Give me some hearts and likes. The Lord just showed me this year, 2023, there's going to be more exposure and liberation, destruction of human trafficking rings and companies, and more children. And a woman will be set free in this year from human slavery and trafficking, says God. If you believe it, say amen. And the Lord is now showing me underground tunnels, different politicians, company CEOs that are in bed. With human trafficking. And this year, 2023, get ready for more exposure and a shutting down and a salvation of many more children and women and tunnels and secret islands and secret safe houses will be exposed in Jesus' name. My goodness.
Jesus. Glory to God. Now number 16. Hallelujah. Number 16. I saw a famine come over parts of Africa, Asia, and Europe. A literal famine. I saw a literal food shortage and famine over parts of Africa, Asia, and Europe. Rabba ba ba ba. What number am I on, Dolores? Thank you so much. Number 16. I saw royals, royalties, and kingdoms. Royals, royalties, and kingdoms. Thank you. Number 17. Royals, royalties, and famine. Royals, royalties, and kingdom, excuse me. Royals, royalties, and kingdoms. I saw a number of royals, royalties, historical, iconic, legendary icons. Passing. Passing, my goodness, passing, royals, royalties, and kingdoms. Number of them will pass this year, even suddenly. So even watch with the royal family of the UK this year. Shut up, Baba. Watch the royal family of the UK this year. Friends, the queen passing last year was a major deal. And I don't know if you remember the broadcast. I was doing a Facebook broadcast last year, and the song, London Bridge is Falling Down. London Bridge is Falling Down. Remember, I just began to sing that song. Out of nowhere. And the day after, or literally that day, a few hours later, the queen passed. So number 17 this year, 2023. Royals, royalties, and kingdoms. Be on the lookout for royals, royalties, and kingdoms. Number 18, hallelujah. I saw shocking world events. What the Lord showed me is news headlines. Headlines, headlines. Newspaper headlines. And the world was in shock. Like when the terrorist attack happened in 9-11. The world was in shock and in fear. But I saw world shocking events taking place this year. Things that the world has never seen before. Never been recorded before. And be on the lookout for the crash. The plane crash and the market crash. The plane crash and the market crash. Thank you, Lord. What am I, 19? Number 19. I saw world records being broken. 
this year, there's going to be world records being broken. What does that mean? First time ever. First time ever it's been this cold. Largest fire in U.S. history. Lowest, lowest financial chart in 100 years. So this is going to be a, a year of first time ever's. And this 2023 will be a year where world records will be broken. World records will be broken this year, 2023. Shocking events and breaking of world records. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now we're almost coming to an end, my friends. Stay with me. Number 20. I saw assassination attempts against Biden and against many of those in the elite. Assassination attempts. So we must be on the lookout for assassination attempts. For there is a spirit of murder, a spirit of death and assassination that has been released over the earth, but we destroy it now in Jesus' name. Remember, I prophesied something very similar to this for 2022. And what happened in Japan, the prime minister, the ex-prime minister was assassinated in pure daylight. Watch what the Lord will do. Watch what the Lord will do. Number 21. The Lord showed me gold and silver being found. Now, this is interesting. Gold, silver, and treasure will be found. And the Lord showed me specifically the nation of UK. He showed me the United Kingdom. And I saw a great treasury or mine of gold and silver being discovered. So be on the lookout for that this year, 2023. There's going to be more gold and more silver and treasure and treasuries are going to be found and opened. I believe it's all part of the great transfer of wealth. Shut up about 22. I saw revival fires all across the earth. Someone say revival fires. I saw revival fire in Asia and Europe. I know a lot of these words today, I've focused a lot on Asia and Europe. That's what the Lord has led me to release today. Because what happens, yes, what happens in America is important. But there's something happening in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, and Africa. Amen. But I saw revival fires all across the earth. Specifically over Asia and Europe. And then the Lord showed me Canada. And Australia. Canada and Australia. Canada and Australia. For get ready, says God, for what I will do with Trudeau this year. In Canada, get ready, for I can do it in Canada. 
Get ready for what I will do with Trudeau in this year in Canada, says God. For I can do it in Canada. I can do it, Canada. For I saw a piece of tape covering the mouth of Justin Trudeau. And the Lord said, I am silencing the mouth of this man. I'm covering the mouth of this man. But I saw revival fires in Asia, Europe. Asia, Europe, my goodness. Canada and Australia. And last but not least, the 23rd prophetic word that I want to release over you in this new year, 2023. Hallelujah. Resurrection power in the church of Jesus Christ. There will be more miracle ministries emerging. More prophets emerging. And more signs and wonders and deliverance like never before. This year, 2023, it will be a year of great resurrection power. More supernatural ministries, more prophets, more miracles, signs and wonders, and deliverance will manifest in the church worldwide and even in the church of the United States. We're going to see a move of resurrection power this year like never before. That the prophets and apostles arise. The world shakers and the nation changers arise. This year, <clears throat> get ready for greater moves and movements of miracle signs and wonders. If you receive these words, and believe them to be true. I want you to clap your hands and lift up your hands and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. For the Lord says, Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Uh, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Come on, somebody. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Watch and pray. Watch the waters. Watch the waters. Watch and pray. Lord, I ask you, let every one of these words, if it's of you, we know it will come to pass. If it's not of you, let it fall to the ground. Lord, we have a warning in the spirit because we feel an urgency of warning to pray, to pray against certain things. Lord, I thank you that your word is true. And your word will come to pass. I declare and I decree that this year will be the best year of your life. In midst of all the calamity and destruction of this falling, failing world, you will come up on top. You will be the head and not the tail. And the Lord will cause you to prosper even a hundredfold. Isaac sowed in a famine and he reaped a hundredfold that same year. Someone say amen. Let me tell you, friends, the Lord is speaking and the Lord is moving. And today on the third day of 2023, I release the blessings of God over your life. I want you to keep praying in the spirit. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes. 
if you believe these words to be true, if you are Dr. Ben, this bears witness with my spirit. I want you to share this on your wall, friends. Because let me tell you, in the next month to two months, you are going to see many of these things come to pass already. I believe in my spirit. In the next one to two months, you will see many of these things come to pass already. If you believe it, say amen. Thank you, Lord, for the shakings of the earth, for the changing of the guard, for the transference of wealth. Sabakarabrata for Asia and Europe, Africa, Middle East. Korababasata, even Brazil, Lord and South America. Thank you, Lord. Karababrosa Tabrata. Karababrata. I declare the creed that 2023, this is the year of your resurrection, your dominion, and your divine direction. If you believe it and receive it, I want you to say amen. Wow, glory be to God. Glory be to God. The angels are moving. The angelic is swirling. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. Glory be to God. In midst of these warnings and this insight and intel, concerning the future of this year. We need to be expectant that God is going to do great things, that the Lord is going to show up and show off. Oh, amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Now, friends, in this place, in this atmosphere, if you believe this word is true, I want you to say amen. I'm telling you, friends, in the next one to two months, you watch. Watch what the Lord will do. Watch what will happen. Amen. Now, friends, before we close, I want to make note of some announcements Our next webinar is going to be January 23rd. Our next webinar, we're going to talk about breaking soul ties. All of our Zoom webinars are free. And what God does in them is so incredible. So I want you to join our next webinar, January 23. We're going to talk about breaking soul ties, spirit ties, body ties let's continue to start this year this new year in freedom and a liberation in jesus name so go and sign up and register it's free and invite your friends amen as well this month i'm going to be ministering in vancouver canada and i'll also be at Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So be on the lookout for those details. Next, I am gonna be in New Mexico in the month of February. Gallup, New Mexico, Navajo Nation, Diné Nation. I'm coming back, Gallup, New Mexico, with my friend, Prophet Charlie Shant and Steve Swanson. So if you want to on, register online, go ahead. Also, if you're in the surrounding region, states, cities, fly in, drive in, be a part 
of the open heavens, New Mexico, move of God. The week right after that, we're going to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Hallelujah. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And it's all-inclusive food, beach, front, ocean, deluxe view, balcony at the Westin Resort and Spa. Valentine's Day weekend. Join us for this incredible weekend, Valentine's Day weekend at Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Yes, you need to fly in, but it's going to be a time of rest, refreshing, rejuvenation. This time in Puerto Vallarta is also a strategic time of connection and networking. We have a few slots left, my friends, so you need a vacation. Yes, you. I would love to see you at Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, for the Glory Carriers Advance, myself, Apostle Stephanie Mines, and Dr. Tadius Carter. Join us if you need a vacation. Amen. Come and be a part of this extraordinary, one-of-a-kind premiere event, Valentine's Day weekend this year. Amen. Specifically, a conference for leaders and we're going to be at a beautiful all-inclusive beachfront resort in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Next, I do have an online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. Consider starting this year off being mentored by me. I would love to disciple you. I would love to mentor you. I would love to walk with you. I would love to pour into you. Amen. But consider being a part of this online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. This group is filled with world changers. And start this year off well by being in a company of like-minded believers from all around the world. Included in this subscription is do you get two Zooms a month? And also you are a part of a private online group. There's a lot of love and a lot of communication that goes on, my friends. So start this year off right with being a part of this online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. Now that is different from being a Facebook subscriber or a YouTube, Instagram subscriber. So thank you as well for being a subscriber if you are. But I want you to join us for online group mentorship. Now friends, if you enjoyed today's broadcast, I want you to say amen. If you received prophetic wisdom, revelation, insight and impartation for this year say amen let me tell you friends i am very honored privileged to be connected to a number of major prophets on earth however i want to say i am not sure if i know anybody or i have seen anybody yet going into such details concerning this year. I am not sure if I've seen anybody anywhere yet on any platform on social media going into such details for this year, 2023. If you know what I'm talking about, say amen. So I want to just put that out there. That this is truly the doing of God. And like I said, watch and pray. And see with your own eyes. Test all these words that have been spoken. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I'm so excited for this coming season and this new year. We have many, many, many great things planned for you. But I do want to invite you to 
consider giving this page a like and a follow, even subscribe. Please do follow me on other social media platforms, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. We do plan on pushing the gospel even further through media and social media this year. Amen. However, as we are about to close, I want to open up a time for you to sow. To sow a 2023 seed. Amen. To sow a seed into this atmosphere. To sow a seed into this realm. I want you to sow a seed into this atmosphere and into this realm. And I want you to honor the Lord and to honor this ministry, this servant, this servant of the Lord God Most High. Amen. So we're going to put up the links, the ways to give. And as you sow, I want you to comment Psalm 23. Psalm 23 or Psalm 23 year. I released 23 prophetic points for this year. Hallelujah. I want you to comment Psalm 23 if you sow and if you have sown unto the Lord. But I want to thank all of you in advance for partnering with me in this ministry. And I'm so looking forward to all that God will do in this new year. This truly will be a year like none other. It truly will be a year of suddenlies, of resurrection, dominion, and divine direction. If you receive these words and the prophetic impartation in the atmosphere, if you're saying, Dr. Ben, I know these words to be true. You're saying, Dr. Ben, I know these words to be true. I want you to sow a seed for your seed not only releases honor, but it also is a form of protection. For the Bible says in the book of Malachi, God will rebuke the devourer if you are faithful and honor him with the tithe. Glory be to God. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Karen Edwards. Mary, God bless you. Chantel, God bless you. Emmy, God bless you. Ingrid, God bless you. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Chanel Jackson, God bless you. Thank you, Karen Edwards. Milagre, God bless you. And aren't you in the UK, Milagre? Sophia, God bless you. DC, God bless you. Let me tell you, friends, we have some things coming up. It's going to be incredible. Game changer. Glory. Shut up. Thank you, Lord. Today, the Lord has released and exposed certain things of the enemy. Thank you, Yolanda. God bless you. And again, what was the purpose of today's broadcast? To prepare the people of the Lord. To prepare God's people. Because God does nothing on the earth unless he first reveals it 
to his servants, prophets. Thank you, Chanel Jackson. I appreciate you. In this 2023 year, sow a seed of Psalm 23. Amen. Let's start this year off right. Hallelujah. Start this year off right in Jesus' name. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, CC. Bless you. Someone say, I'm breaking through. I feel a breakthrough in the atmosphere. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Glory be to God. Now, friends, I want to thank you for sowing, for obeying the Lord in your hearts, in your life. I'm believing that this will be the best and most prosperous year of your life. Amen. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Limier. Please do consider sharing this on your wall. Let's get this out to as many people as we can. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm so glad you spent your time with me today. Watch what the Lord will do, for he has done great things. Happy New Year, friends. Thanks for joining me for Prophecy Now 2023. I will see you very soon. Give this page a like and a follow. You consider subscribing, and I declare over you that this will be a Psalm 23 year of resurrection, dominion, and divine direction. If you receive it, say amen. Give the Lord a clap. God bless you, friends. Ciao. I'll see you soon.